hi and welcome back to my channel Debbie here today I'm going to be um, showing you how to crochet the granny stripe so with this stitch you can create baby blankets afghans you name it on um, throws this is just a version of the granny square but we're gonna be doing it by rows so in order to create this pattern you have to work with a multiple of threes and if you are if you're wanting to make a baby blanket or an afghan or something like that you make make it big enough the chain big enough for the size you require like if let's say for a baby blanket maybe you could do like 120 chains to 130 chains as long as it's a multiple of three and then after those three you can add two so in other words you're gonna be working with a, a multiple of three plus two in my case I started off with a single crochet round so I did a multiple of three plus one to make that my turning chain I hope that makes sense I'm gonna just show you how I created this little swatch and what I did here you can do with a bigger size you can just follow along and I'll show you all right so to begin all you need to do is chain up 15 plus 1 so that will be a total of 16 to make this swatch which is what I'm, I'm I mean if you wanted to make it bigger let's like say you wanted to make it 120 chains so you do the 120 chains plus one and you sing your single crochet your way up and also if you wanted to make life a little less complicated you could just start with a um, a foundation um, single crochet you can start off with so if I wanted to right now I could just do a foundation single crochet of 15 and I don't have to make that extra chain I hope that makes sense so after you've done your single crochet across you are going to chain up a three oops one two and three and then you're going to turn your work and in that same space where you did the chain three you're going to add another um you're going to add a, a double crochet in there so you have two double crochet then you want to skip two and on that third one you're going to do a cluster a cluster means three double crochet so we're going to do three double crochets in that space it's one two and three again we're going to skip two and in the third we're going to do another cluster three double crochet in there It's a very simple pattern and if you're gonna make a blanket it works up pretty quick skip two and in the third you add your cluster Oops. skip two and then we're gonna make our last cluster in that third stitch and then you're gonna skip those two and in that last stitch which was the extra that we did we're going to do two double crochet And that is your first row of clusters now to go move on from here what you need to do is chain up three one two and three and then we're gonna turn our work again and we're not gonna do uh, a, um, anything else there we're just gonna do just one this is gonna count as just one double crochet and then here in this space in between the cluster and the two double crochet is where we're gonna do our our cluster our first cluster of this round 
So we'll put three double crochet in there. We're gonna skip over those three, those that next cluster, and in the space in between is where we're gonna put our next cluster, our three double crochet. We'll do that again, and in that space, we'll do a cluster. We'll skip that one. I mean, I'm sorry. We'll go right into the next space and do a cluster. And then the last cluster into that space there. And to finish the row, we're going to put a double crochet into the beginning of that chain three that we began with for our last double crochet of the round. And we'll put it right at the top of that chain three. And that is what your work should look like now. So we started with two double crochets in, on both ends and then the next row is just one double crochet. So we're gonna alternate. Next round is gonna be two double crochets at the ends and then the next one will be one double crochet. So let me just show you here again. We're gonna chain up three. One, two, three. We will turn our work and into this space here Sorry, we're going to put one double crochet in there into that first space and then we'll make a cluster into the next space, a cluster into the next space and so on until you get to the end. When you get to the end on the top of the chain three, you're going to add your two double crochet to end the round. Here's my last cluster. And then I'm going to add my two double crochet at the top of that chain three that we did from the last round. So I'm gonna finish off with those two double crochet at the top of that chain three. And this is what your work it's gonna look like now I'm gonna show you how to um, change color and then is it in in this next round so if you wanted to you could just cast off here just um chain over like that and cut your yarn and pull out but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip stitch my work in here and then continue like that so I'm going to grab my next color and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so to switch up colors, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with my second color, I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to insert it here in my hook and just pull it through here. And then I'm going to chain up three. One two and three and then I'm gonna turn my work like so and on this round you're only gonna do that one double crochet which is this chain three that we just made and then we're gonna go into this first space here and we're gonna put three double crochet in there for our first cluster So basically we are just repeating the second round. 
okay and then in the next space you know, put another three double crochet for a cluster next space put another cluster next space another cluster and then the last cluster in the last space and then we're going to put the last double crochet at the top of that chain three Flip it over a little bit like that. It's hard to get into, but as you can see there, for one double crochet. And that is how you make the granny strip stitch. Stay tuned for my next video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to crochet the chevron granny ripple. So stay tuned for that one coming soon. Thanks a lot guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.